Mr. President, I just want to again echo the words of Senator Fulmer and thank a few people uh, who have been helpful in this effort. Um, and the first person I would like to thank uh, is Senator Fulmer. Uh, when we began this journey, uh, I, I was, as I am on many of my journeys, Mr. President, all by myself. Um, but uh, Senator Fulmer came up to me uh, and uh, volunteered to be a partner, um, and he has been an absolutely terrific partner uh, in, in, in a, on an issue that just his presence on the bill gave it so much credibility and so much forward momentum. Uh, and he did so uh, in a way that was not only uh, very, very helpful, but he did it despite the fact that it was much harder for him to do it than it was for me uh, in his district. Uh, he had a lot more explaining to do, uh, and uh, that not everyone in life is willing to take that sort of courageous step. There have been many advocates along the way who have been extremely helpful. Uh, you know, everyone from National MPP to uh, Pittsburgh Normal, uh, and many medical advocacy groups and many individual doctors who gave of their time to come and testify uh, before our committees and explain the benefits and explain the importance of giving their patients uh, this option. Um, I want to thank uh, the, uh, the senators who are here today. And, uh, you know, frankly, it's rare in Pennsylvania that we change our minds on issues. Um, sometimes I try to, I strive to do it more myself. But it's rare. Often minds are made up and uh, partisan or other or ideological lines are drawn uh, and people just don't move from them. When we started out with this, Mr. President, we may, be, we may have had six votes. Uh, today we're going to have almost 40 votes more than that. And a lot of that was just done through individual hard work, conversations, showing people the research, and having people change their mind, again, sometimes uh, you know, to their political detriment, at least initially. I don't think we can say it's their political detriment anymore, since we now have 88 percent of the people in Pennsylvania supporting giving people this option. Um, I would like to thank the mothers who were the initial advocates and were later joined by the veterans and joined by the cancer patients and joined by the patients with Crohn's disease and others. But the first group was the mothers. These were the people uh, who had sick children. Uh, and frankly, when you have a sick child, there is nothing in the world more important and more compelling. And I've been here for 13 years, and I've seen advocacy groups uh, on every issue imaginable, uh, paid lobbyists and people from districts come in. I have never seen a group of people more effective, more committed than the moms who started this whole push uh, to give their children, their sick children, uh, one more shot at life. And I want to thank them. What, what you have done is truly uh, remarkable. Um, I want to thank my staff uh, and Senator Fulmer's staff uh, and the staff for some of the members of the House we're working with and the governor's staff um, for working so hard to get the exact wording of what I believe is a terrific bill. It's not a perfect bill. Perf perfection is elusive uh, in, in, in legislation. And if you only are willing to accept perfection, you're never going to make progress at all. But this is a much better bill than was passed last session. And this is a very, very, very good bill that's going to get people help they need. Um, and so uh, I'm very grateful to my staff in particular for helping me with this. Um, name a couple of them, although all of them were involved. My chief of staff, Zach Hoover. Uh, my issues director, John Tu. Uh, Steve Hohenstein, my man in Harrisburg, uh, who uh, tracked down every rumor. And there were millions of them to track down. Uh, and MP Tomei who has uh, just become a crusader and coordinated with the moms and was the, the likable face of my office. So uh, we're very grateful to MP for that. And um, finally, uh, Mr. President, I just want to say thank you to all of you again. You know, at the end of the day, this is really about one thing. It's about getting the best medicine in the, mo in the most effective delivery method to people who are sick. If any one of us were sick, if any one of us had a sick child or a sick brother or a sick mother, this is the only thing in the world we would care about. And we are doing something today that's going to make such a huge difference in the lives of so many people. And uh, it, it is uh, truly something we should all be proud of. Thank you, Mr. President.
The vote on final passage is ayes 40 and nays 7. This bill has been passed by the Senate and it will be sent to the House of Representatives for its concurrence.